You know, one of the toughest things about being mayor is talking to someone who's just lost their job. And starting in 2008, America entered into one of the toughest times that we've ever seen. And that tough time was the times that we called the start of the recession. Unemployment was incredibly high, job growth nationally was stagnant, and families were struggling to put food on the tables. We haven't been immune, but we have been very, very blessed to be here in the city of Huntsville. And again, I can say, thank goodness that we're in the city of Huntsville. Being in Huntsville hasn't been enough. You know, talking about our past successes has not been enough. And talking about our future is what we have to talk about. That's why today we're here talking about jobs and our plan to put more of our residents to work. I can't emphasize enough that the past few years have been some of the toughest years that this community has ever faced. But we've been working every day to diversify our workforce and to protect the jobs we have and to build on the future. Our plan is to move Huntsville forward and that includes a strong focus on jobs. You may have seen recently that for April of 2012, Huntsville's unemployment rate was 5.7%. Just one year ago, our city was had an unemployment rate of 7.2%. We're moving forward, but we still have much to do. Our plan for jobs doesn't rest on the hope, hopes of success, but our plan for jobs says that we have to keep moving forward. Among the things that we're gonna do, we're gonna finish the BRAC process. Thus far, 5,000 direct jobs have moved here with the BRAC process. Beyond that, 5,000 support jobs will be moving here. We're going to Quad A, which is the Army Aviation Association of America, conventions, we're going to AUSA, we're going to bases around the United States, talking to them about moving here, moving to Huntsville, Alabama. Diversifying our economy is one of the keys. We have to diversify our economy by recruiting new businesses to our city, focusing on the high growth areas like cybersecurity, energy, and geospatial technology. And we've set up an energy Huntsville. We've set up a geospatial Huntsville. We have set up a cyber Huntsville that talks about the future of Huntsville and talks about the future growth of jobs. But we also plan on keeping, to keep and to grow the local businesses like Aurora Technologies that is right here. And this is where we are today. This is one of the foundations of Huntsville's economic growth. Huntsville has more degreed professionals than anywhere else in the United States. You look across the board, more degree professionals and engineers per capita than anywhere else. And many of these professionals are here today because of NASA and Marshall Space Flight Center. And I want to talk directly to those folks who work there. We will continue to work for NASA, continue to work to have a mission for NASA so that we can continue to keep that brain trust that is together at NASA, one of the most highly educated brain trusts on space exploration. We're going to continue to keep those together. We've also made a priority to attract and keep young professionals in our community, and we have succeeded in doing just that. The 2010 census shows a 15% increase in the number of young professionals in our community. And now that they're here, we intend to put them to good use. Our plan for jobs includes working with area educational institutions to provide workforce training alongside established professionals in mentoring and job training programs. In our local businesses, our small businesses, our startups, our moms and pops shops are not forgotten in our plan. Over the past three and a half years, I've been proud to participate in over 236 ribbon cuttings, ground breakings, and business expansions. These are, these are businesses that are growing in our community and providing jobs in our communities. Those local businesses are the true life breath of our city. They provide our tax dollars, they provide our, for our business licenses, and they provide jobs. And our job is to make sure that we streamline the process in making sure that they can do business well. We have worked to keep our sales tax the lowest in the state of Alabama, and we'll continue to do that. Birmingham, Montgomery, Mobile are all sitting at 10% sales tax. Huntsville, we live on 8% sales tax. That keeps our cost of living low. And our plan to provide jobs isn't easy, but it's achievable. It's achievable because of companies like Toyota who last week announced an $80 million job expansion and a job expansion of 125 jobs. 
is achievable because of people like Charlie and Sasha Seeley that are helping move our city forward with the Bell Hudson laws. And they're putting people to work, not only living there, but also building that project. Our plan also includes continue our new area of cooperation with other local elected officials, like we're doing right now, when we work for the passage of the major 21st Century Manufacturing Zone Act in our state legislature. Our legislatures are thinking about the future with this bill, and I would like to encourage them to support this. What will it do? It will create jobs. It gives us another tool to help the financing of large industries as they come into our area. It's necessary in these economic times that you have a way to invest in industry and that investment pays off with jobs. The act would allow us to create revenue zone for nearly any industry willing to invest a minimum of $100 million on a site larger than 500 acres. This is part of the reason why we've invested in a master plan for our smart growth that's reached into areas like Limestone County. Those areas are significant for the future of our city. And by us being smart in preparing for future growth, we'll one day see it. We're gonna to get to work to make sure that Huntsville keeps moving forward. We'll keep moving forward with a great job market with a great future. Thank you.